bit of small pig, liquid chicken, slap it in the bread, smother it in brown sauce, swirl it down with coffee. I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. And then we'll see what's in the bag. <laughs> That's out of the way. Um, Come look into this package. So it's been sent to me this by a company called GPM Racing, and they're from Hong Kong. Um, they basically just sent me a few parts over to review and test out. In I don't know whether it be for the crawlers, for the Tamayo stuff. I don't know. So. There's only one way to find out, and that's by opening it. But yeah, they kindly sent me this over. Just in recognition, I suppose, of what I've been doing for YouTube and stuff like that. So, it's nice. I don't know, I have it 20,000 subscribers now, which is just... It just bewildered me, it really did. Where they come from, I don't know. And where they're still coming from, I still don't know. But it's growing fast now. And, I don't know, it, it's just really nice to have something back so let's take a look inside and uh, see what's in here now i'll put the links of um, gpm website in uh, the description and stuff i can pop you all their links to facebook and basically they're just a manufacturer of parts thousands and thousands of parts <laughs> So, let's see what we have within here. Ooh. It's looking like I have some parts for the Tamaya truck, which is perfect time. So, thank you, GPM. I had um, some great conversations with them over the past. I don't know, six to eight weeks, and they're just a really, really good team, absolutely awesome. So, I'm proud to be on board with them, it's great. So, yeah, these, looking at it, as I am currently in the midst of this. Now, I haven't really done much more since I've last done anything for one reason. I've got to a point where it's going to be getting put together now, so I had to really seriously think of what I wanted to do with it. Did I want to go in my original fleet colours and stuff like that, or go for something different? Anyway, I've decided to go for something a bit different, and something that still suits my personality and things I enjoy. So, more of that to be revealed through future episodes with the Grand Hauler. Now the main thing we're here for is to see what's inside this bag. So, so thank you GPM and from you guys <laughs> I've received the rear aluminium truck wheels. So these will suit a four wheeler that I'll be building up next. After I've uh, done this build, I have a Scania to build, so they're good timing. Um, there's the front wheels. So like I say, I'll pop all the links in the description as to uh, where you can find GPM racing. So so far there's some, there's gonna be some pretty cool stuff in this bag. Um, as I do more with the truck, I'll obviously open the parts and review them properly, and then we can have a proper look, but for now we're just seeing what's in the bag. So if you're interested and you want to see more regarding these parts, then stay tuned for future builds on this, because thanks to GPM they've just given me more things to do with the Grand Hauler, which is absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10 guys. 
Um, servo, fifth wheel, aluminium fifth wheel kit. So that shall be being replaced on the grand hauler also. And there's everything all your hardware in there to um, make that function. We have the uh, rear chassis cross member. Now, the Grand Ola takes a different cross member to this at the moment. However, I do have my um, Mercedes Actros SLT, which I do believe that should go right at home on there. So, we found a place for that. So, there'll be uh, <coughs> another little summit for the SLT there. And again, all the necessary hardware to fit that. Um, aluminium servo mount so I may as well take the one out of here in fact I think the ground all is different because it's all mounted up front in this yeah however my Scania is uh, mounted for this so I'm sure I can find a place in the Scania for that and front steering axle and some aluminum, aluminium steering knuckles. Well, basically, in the original Tamiya truck, you get a lot of wobble. So, I'm presuming that these now are going to uh, kind of stiffen up my steering, so to speak, and take away a lot of the wobble out of the front steer axle. So, again, I shall be replacing that on the grand hauler as we build this up into something nice I ain't going to disclose what I'm going to do but uh, yeah I've got my mind set on something so if you want to see more and little bits throughout time then please feel free to uh, go ahead and like the Facebook page and back to this again comes with the necessary bits of hardware to put them together but uh, yeah They'll look very high quality parts. So yeah, I'm going to be looking forward to doing some builds with these and getting them used, utilizing them, and uh, well, just see how they hold up and stuff. I'm sure they're going to be good parts because, to be honest with you, I've actually used GPM products before in uh, my Crawler Kings and Wheeler Kings. I have uh, various GPM products in them, and I love the Crawlers to be honest with you. I think my SX10 Jeep, that's got a couple of GPM parts on, and my Wraith, well my trailing Wraith, that has some on, and I've never had an issue so far. So, do feel free to go and check out the website for these and the products. They don't just stock for Tamiya, they do stock for Crawlers, and you'll be surprised at what the stock upgrades for and aluminum aluminium replacement parts I'm British and I don't know I'm so torn to calling it aluminum but yeah aluminium <laughs> so yeah fire over to GPM check them out hit my subscribe button turn on that bell um, if you like the video give me a like drop me a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next videos when um, we'll be coming across utilising these and things in future builds for this and the next build which I have um, yeah you'll see so thanks guys and uh, take care